The longer the Sue Gray report has been taken to come to light, the more suspicions were growing that it was going to be redacted, edited, a summary only would be released, something to make us all groan collectively as the establishment closed ranks and tried to defend the Pepple for blatant, repeated rule breaches during lockdown. The Met surprised us by announcing suddenly they were going to open an investigation, despite multiple reports having been handed to them previously, though apparently unenforceable since the Met didn't investigate crimes after they happened, which was news to anyone who thought they understood how the law worked. The Met announcement stated they saw no reason for the Sue Gray report not to be published, despite their investigation, seemingly throwing Bozo under a bus. But it looks like she might have had eyes on it since, clutched her damehood, and decided she better do otherwise. This morning, news has broken that the Met want the parts of the Sue Gray report that cover the incidents they are also investigating reported with minimal reference, so as not to prejudice their investigation. The Met has asked for redactions, essentially, no doubt because they are the bits they are also investigating, the most damaging allegations made. As if we needed reminding of all the scandals that have beset Dick's leadership, from Bieber Henry and Nicole Smallman, to the Sarah Everard vigil, to the numerous Met police officers charged with rape under her watch, that Dick remaining in her job ought to be inexplicable, and like Johnson, lacks the conscience to resign either. But incidences like this investigation should explain that. She has been kept in place by this government to shield it. The number of incidents became too many to keep ignoring, so now an investigation into the worst parts will be conducted by her force. Its reputation already in tatters, whilst the worst parts of the Sue Gray report are suppressed, and if the Met were to end up clearing Johnson, and let's face it, we can believe they could, he could yet survive all of this. It's bad enough our faith in politics is at such a low ebb right now, but when we can't even expect the law to be upheld regarding politicians now either, this country is in a really bad way. The fact is, there's no excuse in stripping the Sue Gray report of the details. It is completely separate from the Met investigation. There is no interference, but it does now look like there's a stitch up. The Met and number 10 are too close. For once, just do your damn job, dick. Uphold the rule of law and stop telling other people how to do theirs. And for Sue Gray, I hope she sees this for what it is and publishes in full regardless.